What's going on YouTube? So in today's video, we're going to be installing the external breather kit on my 131. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm not sure if you guys are aware on these uh, motors that they, that they, uh, the crankcase pressure is fed back in through the intake. And while while it does that, a little bit of oil makes its way in through the intake into your uh, combustion chamber, and then it's burnt up, and then you get a good bit of deposit of uh, carbon buildup oil, uh, burnt oil built up on the top of your piston. Well, after time, it's I just don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, there are some photos of some motors. Up post them up as I'm talking of a motor that had less than 10,000 miles I want to say on it that didn't have the external breather put on and then another piston that probably had 10 20,000 miles on it that had the breather kit put on fairly uh, beginning fairly close to the beginning of the life of the motor and it's I mean it's got a little bit of burnt to it as far as like discoloration I don't know it, but it doesn't look new but again it doesn't have a thick crusty layer of burnt oil on it so i was when i saw that and heard about it i started doing some research and i was like yes i i was gonna do it to the last bike but then now i got this bike so i'm definitely doing it on this bike with less than i think it's got less than 400 miles on it so i i, I want to do it now and so catch can or canister finally came in so let's take a look at some of the parts that i got <clears throat> well you know it's five to t midnight and i'm about to show you the parts i was about to in the damn there's a train horn going on it's 12 it's, it's midnight man i think this is a good time to record don't have to worry about neighbors cutting the grass and all that jazz loud cars driving by and whatnot but no, still, you know, turn the camera on. Everybody wants to come out and make some noise. Anyways, let's look at some parts. So, we got some hoses. Some, uh, I bought a kit because I, I wanted to make sure I got the right size of grommets. These are going to go through the back plate of your intake uh, air breather. Uh, some fittings. This is the catch canister. And this. Um, when... I saw someone else make a video of this and they bought a brake reservoir for a motorcycle and all they wanted was this guy here. So when I looked up the dimensions for this, the diameter of it, it's this said it was the same diameter, but now that I look at it, this, the cap is the same diameter as this, but the clamp doesn't go around the cap, it goes around the body. So hence this is not going to close all the way so i've come up with a spacer this is only going to be temporary and a bolt i'm going to use this here and this as well i'm not going to use this stuff so anyways and so where i plan on putting the canister now i don't know if this is going to be a final place but i'm going to use this bolt right here and make it kind of hang right here they want you to have the vent hoses facing upward as much as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try to get it to hang right about here. So let's get started. Let's take this air filter off. These are the hoses for our, they come from each cylinder or each head, and then it flows in right into the intake there. Eh, not, I remember doing, when I was doing the oil changes and services on my last bike, I do remember oil residue. This is metal, not too thick. So we're going to. Pop these off like so. All right, 
Yeah. You see these two, that's where we're going to take our hoses. We're going to take them out and run them out through here. Out through here, through the back, make sure it's clear. So, let's see. Check our filter. Yeah, so anything inside this raised part. So I'm going to feel back here, find a good spot. That's the fitting that goes into your heads. See the little hole right there? Just breathe out through here and back into your intake. I got this uh, intake plate off. I noticed something. That my throttle body harness has this little keeper, little Christmas tree keeper thing that's supposed to go into, plug into a hole or something like that. To keep this from you know, wiggling about chafing through anything so definitely have to get to the dealership about that but like hey is there supposed to be a clip coming off this bolt because it's it's kind of this general area where it's supposed to be at uh, so i need to figure something out about that all right here's the commitment right here man uh i'm gonna drill a pilot hole first and then all the way up to the half inch wall. So, point of no return here, boys. Well, you can plug the holes up, but eh. There it goes. Time for the big one now. All right, I blew it out with some compressed air. Still want to give it a good once over. Make sure you get as much as those shavings out, especially in, especially inside this area, man. Cause, woo! You think that carbon buildup from that oil is bad? You get metal shavings inside your engine. Yeah. All right. So I got one in. I cut a small piece of hose just to test test it out so what i did was i drilled a half inch hole with a 5 8 grommet little rubber grommet and then a quarter inch fuel line hose rubber hose and a little finessing to get it in there but uh i used some soapy water to get the grommet in and a flat head screwdriver or something that is not going to cut it or poke through it kind of just worked it in took my time and then especially the hose use a little bit of soapy water let's give it a little wiggle and then once it, especially once it gets through here man you can just boop, keep pulling it pull it until you get the length you want so i'm gonna do the other one real quick and yeah some oh and i also chamfered the edge or deburred the edge uh on the holes on both sides so it's not sharp or anything make sure you do that too Another thing, another thing I did is I took like a tapered punch or it doesn't matter around punch, stick it in the hole to kind of seat it all the way and just kind of work around it, get it in there nice and nice and tight. There you go. Open that hole up for you. There you go. There we go get them both installed so now i'm going to cut the hose in half and i'm going to cut the hose in half and then just run both ends through so i got a nice length of hose to go in to reach here and i'm going to bolt this up That's what it's going to kind of look like on the inside. 
All right, so this is what I'm going to do. This one's going to be easy. It's going to go right here. This one's going to come out about right here where my finger is. I'm going to kind of run, run it down, loop, and come through here. I'm going to lightly zip tie it to this. And I'll, I'll put my Y connection or my T fitting somewhere around here behind it so you can't see it. And then I got some nice black uh, braided stainless steel braided hose it's three eighths so these are quarter inch fuel lines you're using to come out of the intake and but then you get to go up to a three eighths to go to uh plug into the uh canister take these out Yeah, you can't have these higher than these posts or they'll they'll be rubbing the inside of your uh the back side of your filter so if you can help it just pull it through Uh, this one's looking a little flat but I still got some play in it so let's run it here go across so should barely see that with the filter sticking out yay far unless you get down here you should barely see that so I'm gonna put my get my fitting so this fitting is two quarters and a three eighths so the way it's gonna work something very similar to that come out like that can see if I can't tuck that up under there so you can't see it this will get covered by the other hose do this one right there. Let's see where we're at. Probably trim off some more of this. Get it up at least like that. about good and when I zip tie this up there it'll hold it in place now you don't want to have any low points like say it's coming from up here you don't want it to be have a place to settle you know what I'm saying you want to try to have it just run downhill as much as possible all right now I'm gonna take this lifter cover bolt out this is where I plan on mounting the canister So this is what I'm going to use to go off of it and it just fits in there. Put this in there. The problem is I need to twist this a 90 because so, it's sitting like this now. I need it like this up and down or sideways like this. So when I put that, well, that band for the thing on there, it'll fit. Just going to get that snug down just to hold it for me while I twist it. I think it matters which way we go. Grab it, get it square, get the pliers square with it, give it a twist. That looks 
about good right there. Maybe a little bit more. That might work right there. We'll fine tune it when we get the uh, canister in there. All right, let's see if we can't squeeze this thing in here. So that's how, that's how I'm going to do it. Got the band here. Found a little spacer now. Mind you, this is temporary. So I'm going to have this pinched right there. And the bracket's going to go on this side. And then get a bolt that goes through it. So let's see if we can dude, get this thing in without dropping something. But you know, you know how that goes. Let's do this. Twist it and get it exactly where we want it. Like that. I might have to lift it up. It's just a small little hose that goes right there. I have to. I just take this bolt off, take this out, drain this thing every every time I do an oil change. I'm sure it doesn't fill up that fast. Only temporary, I would like to at least get a different spacer and a, probably an Allen headed bolt that's blackened. Seems pretty sturdy. Go from here to here, which is not that much, a few inches. day uh, you saw me cutting this braided hose uh, I didn't want to cut yesterday because it was like one two o'clock in the morning and I got people sleeping in the house so the only thing I have is the air cut off as you've seen anyways um, I did this morning go get some better hardware a nicer spacer and as you can see nice stainless hardware instead of that other stuff uh, so anyway, so that looks a lot cleaner. I might trim up this screw later, but I want to see how this Configuration works. This hose is on there real snug uh, Yeah, I had to lube it up before putting on with some soapy water And then these two the quarter inch ones going up here under the T fitting. I'm gonna zip tie those and then I'm zip tie this up and double check everything and put everything together and I'd be done torque this down and then torque down my air cleaner and all that stuff and so let's get started
There you go, YouTube. Uh, I'll show you how to put that external breather kit on there. A uh, little on the difficult side. Uh, you kind of got to know what you're doing and, and be able to figure things out, troubleshoot, you know, like I said, uh, like I had to do with this kit. I just kind of watched a bunch of videos on the external kits and kind of put it together from what I've seen with other people uh, did because uh, I didn't see any breather kits like uh or i'm sorry not breather kits but any uh air intake the the filter that i had uh i didn't see any like mine with people doing the kit so i just kind of pieced it together looked at mine looked at what they did and and just kind of went with it i guess so uh that's how i got those grommets and stuff pulling the hose through because someone had a, a back plate similar to mine so And then another guy, uh, how to mount the uh, the catch can. Uh, I think he did his in a different spot, but very similar because I think he used one of the timing chain cover bolts. But eh, I can't really do that because I got the exhaust there. But either way, got it done. Let's take a look at it. Now, I'm standing. This is eye level with me. Uh, I'm staring right at. The Harley Davidson logo. Look down. I mean, I'm standing higher. The bike's obviously raised up. I can kind of see the hose drooping down, but honestly, for what it is, it looks pretty good. All you see is that hose. Uh, the clamp here. I'm gonna. Try, I need to trim this bolt off. So I want to flex it just a little bit more out the way, and that bolt's preventing that. But other than that, it looks really well. I'm hoping. You know, it doesn't ting 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 against there but so i'm hoping this is gonna work out pretty well uh hopefully uh i just called harley today my light should be in here hopefully soon my service manuals come in already but waiting on my tail light to come in so from custom dynamics i believe it is so once that comes in i'll come out with the video of me putting all of my lights on so, uh, other than that, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on, you know, when I go to do, uh, it won't be my 500 or my, th it'll probably be my 1,000 mile service, uh, so it's going to be like six 700 miles now, when I check behind my air filter and see how it looks, and make sure, obviously make sure nothing's come loose, but other than that, if you like what you see, give me a big old thumbs up, comment down below if you have any ideas that I should do with my bike. Uh, I love to hear them. That's, you know, uh, and also make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more. All right. Adios.